American Air Gunner is sponsored by Pyramid Air. Air guns are not just for kids anymore. Umarex, your premium air gun supplier. And these fine sponsors. Hey everyone, welcome back to American Air Gunner. Paul's on vacation this week, so you're stuck with me, but that's okay. We have some really awesome brand new air guns and accessories we just got in the studio, some of which I had a chance to check out at the SHOT Show this year. We have really awesome BB repeaters from Umarex. They're great. The 25 caliber Benjamin Marauder, I had a chance to try it out. It shoots awesome. And the ND3, a night vision alternative from Laser Genetics. So while you check it out, I'm gonna shoot silhouettes. The Laser Genetics ND3 Long Distance Laser Designator represents a leap forward in technology for those who like to hunt at night. When I first saw this system at the SHOT Show 2010, I couldn't wait to get my hands on one and try it out here at the studio. As an alternative to traditional night vision equipment, the ND3 uses declassified military technology to light up your prey up to 250 yards away thanks to the nine different optical elements inside the rugged housing. No bigger than a tactical flashlight, the ND3 is small in size, but don't let that fool you. This is an extremely powerful laser product. The kit includes the laser, an adjustable mount, a pressure switch, spotting scope and binocular mount, and a weaver ring. Once mounted on your scope, simply adjust the elevation and windage until a pinpoint laser beam is centered with your scope's reticle. The focusing ring allows you to vary the size of the beam, from full wide to a pinpoint which can be seen up to 3 miles away. To show you just what you'll see behind the scope mounted with an ND3 laser, we've set up our scope cam to do just that. The ND3 laser designator can also be used for search and rescue situations where flashlights just don't have the reach. Will it replace your night vision equipment? Probably not, but the ND3 puts some pretty powerful night vision capabilities in your hands for just a few hundred dollars. At the 2010 SHOT Show, I had a chance to take a look at some BB repeaters. Shortly after that, we had some prototypes in the studio that a few younger shooters had a chance to try out. Now that the retail versions are available, I'm going to go over some features with you today. The Steel Storm by Umarex is a BB repeater with a 300 round reservoir and a 30 round non-removable magazine. To load it, all you need to do is fill the reservoir, pull back the follower, shake 30 rounds in, and when it's full, release the follower. The Steel Storm shoots in both semi-automatic and a six-shot burst mode. It's powered by two 12 gram CO2 cartridges. And in addition, comes with open sights and a Picatinny rail to add accessories like this Falter PS55 electronic point sight. I'm going to go ahead and add it on, take some shots, and see how it does. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. All right, I'm ready to go, so I'm going to start on single shot and see how it does. Next we have the H&K MP5K, 
which features a high velocity 400 foot per second semi-automatic action with a 30 shot clip. If you take a look around here, you'll see that it has a foldable stock, comes with a 30 round drop free magazine. To load it, all you need to do is pull down the follower, drop your BBs in, and push the release. It comes with a rear sight that has aperture adjustment, manual safety, and is powered by a single 12 gram CO2 cartridge that gets put in right here. Overall, the gun's pretty lightweight and comes with blowback action that you'll be able to see when I'm shooting. So let's take some shots. Wow, you know what's great about BB repeaters is that they're a lot of fun for both young shooters and adults. And they're great if you have an at-home shooting gallery or you're looking for that tactical look and feel. I'm gonna take some more shots. The Hammerly 850 Air Magnum is quietly energized by a stealthy CO2 powerhouse and utilizes an eight-shot magazine that provides fast repeating action. The 850's automatic ambidextrous safety, fiber optic sights, and optical railing contribute to precision accuracy. The Hammerly 850 Air Magnum. Smooth, quiet, accurate. The Ruger Explorer is a modern-day youth air rifle that's ready to zing a pellet at speeds of up to 495 feet per second after just one stroke of its single-shot brake barrel mechanism. Its cool-looking features, like the ambidextrous vented cheek piece, fiber optic sights, and rugged composite thumbhole stock are appealing to youth. But the Ruger Explorer has more than just good looks. The Ruger Explorer, a youth pellet rifle ready to make an impact. Last week, Paul Cray had a chance to show Paul how to set up a scope for field target shooting. So let's check that footage out. And after the break, I'm gonna show you how to customize your own air gun. Folks, I'm out here today with Paul Cray, and he's going to show me how to set up my scope and rifle for the sport of field target. Field target, as you know, is a hunting simulation sport. So anybody who uses a scoped rifle is going to find this information very useful. Paul, I noticed the first thing we're going to do is set up our target at 30 yards and sight in at that distance. Why 30 yards with these air rifles? Well, Paul, whether you shoot 12 foot pounds or 20 foot pounds, which is the legal limit in field target, you're gonna find that your pellet is gonna reach its maximum height at around 30 yards. So when I mark 30 yards on my scope, it means I only have to turn my turret in one direction. 
and during a match that can make a difference between winning or losing because uh, you want to keep it simple. I mm -hmm. like to keep things simple. You're under pressure, up against a timer, you're in competition with other people. Right. So if you can keep things simple, do it. All right. Well, let's go ahead. We'll sight in at 30 yards. Then we're going to bring it back to 10 yards and everything in between 55 yards. Sure. Because we, we shoot, we're shooting field target, we're going to engage targets from 10 all the way out to 55 yards. Yeah, yeah. It could be anywhere in between those. We right? don't know until we sit down and right. address the lane. Fantastic. Well, let's get to it. Absolutely. All let's right. go. Now, I'm shooting with a Springer. This is an Air Arms TX200, an under lever. I think, Paul, the most winningest field target spring rifle, isn't I it? I believe so. Yeah. I won two national titles with a TX. Did you? Yeah. Terrific. What a shot. Not bad. Bullseye. Bullseye. <laughs> All right, I'll confirm that one more time, I think. Yes. <laughs> that could have just been beginner's, field target beginner's luck here. Bullseye, Paul, good shot. All right, thank you. Well, I think we're on at 30 yards. What's our next step, Paul? Do we simply move up to 10 yards and start from there? Well, before we do that, Paul, we're gonna mark our scope turret at 30 right. yards. We know you're dead on, mm -hmm. so we're gonna mark that on the turret. Okay, I think I have an idea how to do that. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, well I have my handy dandy label maker here. I'm gonna go ahead and punch in 30. All right. Nice and clean. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and trim that. Now some people will put paper on the turret here and just mark it in and pen or pencil, right. which is fine too, but I like your trick. All right, Paul, for 10 yards, I think I probably have to crank this turret nearly halfway over. Sure, just get you uh, a ballpark. Yeah. You know, it's gonna take a few shots to get you settled. I'll put it at eight. I'll we'll see where we are. See what we got. Okay. Again, relax. Shoulder, breathing shallow. And just. There you go. Oh, <laughs> pretty close on. Pretty close? Yeah, I'm gonna take another shot. Beautiful. Nice. And that's your second marking done. Terrific. All right, Paul, I'm gonna guesstimate and say about eight clicks back towards 30 and see if I'm on at 11 yards. Yeah, that should be close. There's eight. Again, this is a trial and error, but you're gonna be, when you get it right, it's gonna be perfection. All right. Well, it was a bullseye, but I hit the wrong target. Our downrange camera was pointed at a different one. Let me try it again. This is reality TV, right? It sure here. is. Oh, that was a little off. A little shaky there. I'm gonna try to nail that center. Bullseye. You're on, dead on. You know, I don't think I was gonna be happy until I got that bullseye. Good shot. So I guess we'll move it out uh, to 12 yards and we'll wrap it up. Sure, okay. that's it. hoo <laughs> hoo. I'd say that's 12. Well, Paul, I don't think my labeling method is going to work on this scope. You said you sight in from 10 yards to 25 yards in one yard increments. I would never have enough room on this turret to put all those labels. I know what a lot of guys do is they put a piece of tape, they make hash marks, yep. put numbers, but yep. you have a much more elegant system here. Why don't you explain that to the folks at home? Well, I ran into the same problem you did. You're running out of space. So what I did was I made a ballistic chart, mm -hmm. which is basically when I sighted in, at 10 yards, I found out, if you look at the scope right here, mm -hmm. that it, it showed it, I was at number six. Six. So I basically wrote 10 yards equals number six. Okay. So when I sighted in at 11 yards, I was at number five. Go to five plus two. Plus two. And that was my method. You notice I did it all the way through in one yard increments all the way to 25, and then in five yard, yard increments all the way to 55. Wow, now I can't imagine this being the most enjoyable part of this sport. It's going to take a lot of time, it's a tedious thing. How do you feel about doing it? Paul, I love field target. I yeah. think it's the most exciting shoot shooting spot out there, but I don't like doing this. Yeah. So it, it's something that I like to do 
like in stages. I'll do two or three ranges a day, mm -hmm. make sure they're absolutely perfect, mm -hmm. come back the next day and do a few more. Wow. But once you do it, it's good. Lock it up and it's good to go. All right. Well, I think next time you come back, I'll have this rifle ready to shoot field target and we'll uh, see how I do. Sure. Gamma, I'm busy. I drank all the soda. I was thirsty. Hey, wait, Ma, can you do me a favor? Can you pick up some more soda? Okay, thanks. Awesome. Air Force Air Guns, serious air guns for the serious shooter. Ow, ow, ow. American-made Benjamin pre-charged pneumatic air rifles provide quiet accuracy for all shooting situations. Power and precision for building a lifetime of outdoor memories. A distinguished original among American-made air rifles, Benjamin has been taking you from field to woods to backyard plinking since 1899. Visit us at crossman.com. Crossman manufactures some of the most customizable air guns on the market today, and we have a few here that you may have seen on the show before, like this 2240 CO2 pistol with machined stainless steel parts and custom wood grips, and my favorite, the Benjamin Discovery with a custom laminate stock. But did you know that customizing your own air gun is as easy as logging on to the Crossman website and building your own through the custom shop? Customizing is actually really easy to do. First, you need to choose what type of air gun you'd like. After you've selected, you can go through and choose different components. You have choices between different barrels, front sight, breech, sight and scope, trigger shoe, grip, and lasering, which I think is really cool because you can personalize it. And it's really great because you can see when you choose different parts, it'll display it on the screen and show you the difference. Along with the display, it also shows the price, which I find really convenient. One of the new customized air guns we just got in is the Outdoorsman 2250 XE. Let's take a look at it. The 22 caliber Outdoorsman has a custom skeleton beach stock, a center point 3 to 9 by 32 mil dot scope, a long breech, a 14 inch barrel, a black muzzle brake, a black trigger shoe. It is actually really lightweight. It's just over three pounds. I'm really excited to do some shooting with this, so let's bring it up to the air lodge and see how it does. Okay, so I'm set up in the air lodge. I have silhouette targets set out at 10, 12 and a half, 15 and 18 yards, chicken, pig, turkey, ram. I have two of each and I'm gonna see how I do.
Okay. Well, as you can see, the Outdoorsman 2250XC is pretty accurate. It didn't take many shots to knock everything down. I would say this gun would be great for small game hunting, pest control, and definitely silhouette shooting. The Ruger Explorer is a modern day youth air rifle that's ready to zing a pellet at speeds of up to 495 feet per second after just one stroke of its single shot brake barrel mechanism. Its cool looking features like the ambidextrous vented cheek piece, fiber optic sights and rugged composite thumb hole stock are appealing to youth. But the Ruger Explorer has more than just good looks. The Ruger Explorer, a youth pellet rifle ready to make an impact. At American Air Gunner Television, we use all types of air guns, ammo, and accessories. That's why we depend on PyramidAir.com for the biggest selection and best prices out there. At PyramidAir.com, you'll find all your favorite brands like RWS, Crossman, Gamo, Benjamin, Air Force, and many others. Shop online or call the number on your screen for fast, friendly service. PyramidAir.com. It's not your father's BB gun. American Air Gunner is sponsored by Pyramid Air. Air guns are not just for kids anymore. Umarex, your premium air gun supplier. And these fine sponsors. In early 2009, Benjamin introduced the Marauder, a 177 and 22 caliber bolt action 10 shot repeater. The Marauder was designed and engineered to compete with European pre-charged pneumatic air guns for accuracy and build quality. But what set the Marauder apart was its affordability. Now, a year later, Benjamin has raised the bar by offering the Marauder in 25 caliber for serious hunters looking for more knockdown power. Let's take a closer look so I can go over all the features with you. The 25 caliber Benjamin Marauder has a nice hardwood stock, a shrouded barrel to keep your shots nice and quiet, a bolt action. In addition, the rifle has a manual safety, an eight shot clip. Because it's 25 caliber, there's only room for eight pellets instead of 10. And the clip inserts on the right hand side of the rifle. Because the rifle doesn't come with open sights, I went ahead and mounted on this Hawk clip scope to the 11 millimeter dovetail. The 25 caliber Marauder is also dual fuel capable, so you can either use compressed air or CO2, but be sure to never mix them. If you ever want to switch from one to the other, just use your degasser tool that comes with the rifle to empty any leftover gas that might be left in the reservoir. Okay, I've got the crani all set up. I'm gonna go ahead and find out how powerful the 25 caliber Marauder is. Okay, so it looks like the average is 832 feet per second. I'm gonna go ahead and calculate the foot-pounds of energy. I will first multiply the average by itself, 832 multiplied by 832, multiplied by the pellet weight, which is 25.4 grains, divided by the constant, which is 450240, equals 39 foot-pounds of energy. So, as you can see, the 25 caliber Marauder is pretty powerful. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot a group and see how accurate it is.
Well, it looks like I shot my group just in time for the rain, <laughs> but I didn't do so bad from 25 yards away. And what I can say about the 25 caliber Benjamin Marauder is that it's very quiet, powerful, and accurate at nearly 40 foot-pounds of energy. So to close the episode, our assistant editor Dylan had some fly fishing equipment in his car and I decided I wanted to learn. Yeah, let's uh, tie a fly on and you'll be catching fish in no time. Tie a reel like this. Yeah. You gotta switch if you wanna hold it. Into those. <laughs> I call myself. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I've had a lot of fun with this week's episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm Crystal Ackley, and until next time, shoot safe and have fun, and cross your fingers that I catch something. He's on, he's on, he's on. What do I do, what do I do? Let him, let him, let him go with it a little. Okay. Like, don't let go completely. Uh -huh. Keep tension on it, keep tension on it. Did he get it off? Nope, he's still on. What do I do? Real, try and reel in. Keep tension on the line. Oh, he's pissed. Yeah. <laughs> you can let go, let go. If I let it. He got off? Yep. Stupid fish. That was good though. <laughs>